The next part of the brain, the cerebellum. The cerebellum is usually associated with coordination of movements, but it has become clear that the cerebellum not only is involved in the performance of movements, but also in learning how this movement has to be executed. Finally, apart from its impact on controlling the motor systems, cerebellar involvement in cognitive and affective aspects of brain functions have also been observed. The next point, the diencephalon. The diencephalon is lodged between the brainstem and the cerebral hemispheres. The most important parts of the diencephalon are the thalamus and the hypothalamus. The thalamus is the largest component of the diencephalon. The thalamus is the gateway to the cerebral cortex. That means all major sensory pathways, except the olfactory, relay in the thalamus before ascending to the cortex. The thalamus also has important connections with the limbic, the visceral, the visual, the motoric, and the consciousness system. Therefore, lesions in the thalamus result in sensory and motor disturbances, as well as disturbances in alertness, vision, pain, and behavior. The hypothalamus is located below the thalamus and right above the brainstem. It plays an important role in the autonomic nervous system as well as in the endocrine system. The hypothalamus controls the release of hormones, the body temperature, the food and water intake, the sexual behavior, the circadian rhythm, and the stress reaction through the norepinephrine and the cortisol system.